Good news is that India has mastered the Air Independent Propulsion System, that is the AIP. However, the plan to fit the indigenous AIP on board the Scorpion class of submarines may not be as soon as envisaged because the process ahead is quite tedious. Sources in the Defense and Security Establishment said that all the tests conducted so far on the AIP that allows a conventional submarine to stay underwater for longer duration was part of the developmental trial and results are based on the Defense Research and Development, that is the DRDO's own studies and parameters, which matches with that of the Navy. DRDO has tied up with the private player like the LNT and Thermax, who are its industry partners. Last month, the Defence Ministry had issued a statement saying that in a major boost to Atmanirbhar Bharat, fuel cell-based AIP system of the DRDO's Naval Material Research Laboratory, that is the NMRL, will soon be fitted on board INS Calvary. INS Calvary, which was commissioned in 2017, is scheduled to come in for refit only in mid-2024. This meant that even if at all trials are completed, the AIP can be fitted on board the submarine only next year. AIP is not a simple play and plug system. The hull of the submarine has to be cut and AIP section added to it. This would mean that the length of the submarine would increase, which brings into play various considerations. AIP system has to be tested at multiple levels to ensure a foolproof integration. As part of the agreement, the Naval Group of France will certify the AIP design for integration in the submarines. The road ahead will include detailed design certification of the energy module which will be performed by the NMRL along with the Indian industry and designs of the platforms impacted by the integration of the AIP inside the Indian submarine by the Naval Group. As per the original plan, the last two of the Scorpion class submarines were to have indigenous AIP technology. But late development meant that the plan had to be tweaked to ensure AIP fitment during the refit stage. It was in March 2021 that the DRDO had completed the first full-fledged test of the AIP on land. Sources had then told the print that the endurance mode was for 14 days and max power mode was for 2 days. AIP has a force multiplier effect on the lethality of the diesel electric submarines and can even be more silent than a nuclear submarine. Conventional diesel electric submarines must surface from time to time, usually every two to four days, to recharge the batteries by using generators driven by air breathing diesel engines. However, when it surfaces or uses a snorkel, the submarine is the most vulnerable to detection. With AIP technology, electricity is generated while the submarine is operating under water. Even though the submarine will still have to surface, unlike a nuclear powered one, the period being submerged is longer than the usual and can stay underwater for two more weeks. AIPs are capable of providing power for recharging the batteries for propulsion and for other electrical equipment requirements of the submarine. While AIP generates power through the reverse electrolysis of the oxygen and hydrogen, DRDO's AIP system functions on phosphoric acid fuel cell technology, which means that no highly inflammable hydrogen has to be stored on board. There are a number of AIP systems in service or development which include a variety of fuel cells, ethanol-based systems and Stirling engines that use liquid oxygen and diesel. DRDO's AIP is a 250 kilowatt phosphoric acid fuel cell, that is a PACF, which uses phosphoric acid as an electrolyte that reacts with hydrogen generated from sodium borohydride and liquid oxygen to generate electricity. The DRDO AIP system has been touted as being more efficient and providing more endurance than the MESMA system offered by France for the Scorpion class of submarines. The MESMA system burns ethanol with liquid oxygen to generate heat to drive the steam turbine. Incidentally, MESMA system was exported to Pakistan in the past decade. Pakistan Navy has installed MESMA on three of its submarines. The Indian Navy hopes to refit the AIP system on all six of its Scorpion submarines over the next decade. For the print, this is Snehi Shalex Philip. Do subscribe to our Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.